So uh, th thanks, some really good presentations. Just for the sake of time, we're going to hold any additional questions for the next two speakers, and then we'll hopefully catch up towards the end. Um, so we're going to ask uh, Dr. Kumar to come, on um, come up and speak to us about the role of CX, CXC R3 and its pulmonary ligands in segmental and non-segmental vitiligo pathogenesis from one of our home institutions here at PGIMAR, Dr. Devinder Prasad's department. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon to all. So I'm Dr. Vinod. Uh, I would like to thank you, uh, Dr. Zavinda Prashad and uh, VIS for uh, allowing me to talk over here. So today I'm going to present the role of uh, CXCR3 and its primary ligands in segmental and non-segmental vitiligo pathogenesis. So uh, if we talk about the vitiligo, which is a disease of uh, targeted melanocyte destruction and degeneration that result in the skin uh, depigmentation. There are the many mechanisms which are already proposed in the literature, but uh, that includes like neural theory, somatic monism, uh, microvascular skin homing, and three-step theory. So three-step theory shows that uh, there is a uh, in inflammatory niche form over the skin that will induce and uh, expose the autoantigens also related to the uh, melanocyte and that, uh, that causes the recruitment of cells and create melanocyte destruction. So uh, these uh, vitiligo can be classified broadly either is a segmental or non-segmental and there is a many clinical differences among them. So I'm not going into uh, those differences but I want to uh, highlight few immunological signatures uh, like uh, in the non-vitiligo, uh, non-segmental vitiligo there is a more uh, uh, prevalence of the autoimmune diseases about 25% uh, uh, of the non-vitiligo, non-segmental vitiligo patients show thyroid peroxidase antibodies compared to the 15% in the segmental vitiligo and the, if you compare the segmental vitiligo and healthy controls there is a no difference uh, in the uh, thyroid related disease. So it shows that uh, uh, there is a difference in the pathogenesis between uh, both these uh, subtypes and the immune response in uh, segmental vitiligo seems to be more targeted and involve a narrow inflammatory activation profile compared to the non-segmental vitiligo. So uh, this is the pathogenesis, I think we are discussing it uh, since yesterday. So you know when there is uh, any in environmental insult, there is a release of PAMP and DAMPs that will prime the immune cell to secrete more IF and gamma that then uh, <coughs> stimulate the creatinine sites to secrete uh, CXCL, 9, 10 and other ligands also that will uh, bind to the CXCR3 receptor that express on the melanocyte as well as, well as many other uh, lymphocytes and create a, a pro-inflammatory uh, pro uh, niche in the skin and that might be responsible for the melanocyte destruction. So uh, what we know about the CXCR3 receptor? So it's a G protein coupled receptor that binds to the its ligands that are the 4, 9, 10 and 11. In the human three isoforms has been identified that is the A, B and alternative. The isoform A binds to the 9, 10 and 11 ligand while the B binds to the, the CXCL4 along with 9, 10, 11. So uh, this receptor expressed on the activated lymphocytes, uh, natural killer cells and epithelial cells. It also regulates lymphocyte trafficking and, and chemotactic migration and it, it uh, polarized towards more the Th1 inflammation and uh, uh, the uh, CXCL9, 10, 11 are proposed to be local cells and create inflammatory niche combined with the CXCR3. So uh, what do we know about this expression of this receptor in the vitiligo? So the human melanocyte express CXCR3B compared to the CX3RA. It is absent in the mice, so studies on the mice is not that much relative in, in relative to the CXCR3B specifically. If we uh, prime these cells, melanocytes, uh, with IFN gamma, there is an increase in the expression of this uh, uh, receptor. Uh, however, uh, the expression is more increased in the melanocytes which are isolated from the vitiligo patients. The creatinocyte also express this receptor but it is not that much uh, pronounced in these uh, uh, cells. Uh, and the IF and gamma don't have any effect on the expression of these, this receptor. So in the literature, you know, the bioinformatic binding study have shown that CXL11 has the strongest inducer for CXCR3B, but in vitiligo, uh, CXCL10 has been observed to be the more destructive. 
So, you know, what is the status of uh, these ligands and this receptor in the segmental and non-segmental vitiligo is our uh, study. So, this study is, you know, uh, is divided into uh, two parts. One is the in vitro and the other is the uh, in vivo related to the patient. So, I am just presenting the first part where we are studying the difference in the expression of CXCR3B and circulating level of its ligands in the healthy control and vitiligo that are further segregated as a segmental and non-segmental vitiligo. So, uh, the total uh, number, the sample size for this study is a non vitiligo uh, patients 20, that are 10 active, 10 stable, segmental vitiligo 15 patients, 5 active, 5 stable, 5 mixed vitiligo. And uh, we, uh, we have taken their skin biopsies for the immunostructive chemistry and quantitative real time PCR. But today I am just presenting only the uh, data which are obtained from the 10 healthy control and 10 vitiligo patients that contain 6 non, non segmental and 4 segmental vitiligo. So these are the results that there is an increase in the expression of CXCR3V uh, mRNA in the vitiligo, vitiligo patient and uh, the segmental vitiligo patient have the higher expression compared to the non-vitiligo uh, patients. Then we did the CXCL9, we didn't find any significant difference. Uh, then the CXCL10, we find that in the segmental vitiligo there is a significant increase in the CXCL10 uh, compared to the non-segmental vitiligo. We did the ELISA for uh, CXCR11, we couldn't find any difference, but it is increased in the segmental vitiligo. Similarly for the CXCL4, there is no significant difference, but uh, there is an increase in the segmental vitiligo. So if I conclude this study, this study highlighted the uh, differential role of CXCR3V and its ligand in the pathogenesis of vitiligo along with the segmental and non-segmental vitiligo. The mRNA expression of CXCR3 is high in vitiligo patient compared to the control followed by increased expression in segmental vitiligo compared to the non-segmental vitiligo. The major serum levels of 4 and 9 were high, but there is no difference among the control and vitiligo and segmental and non-segmental. There is a no difference in the CXCL among the control and vitiligo, but they are significantly high in the segmental vitiligo. As this is a primary study, so you know we have a very less uh, number of patient recruited. We are still recruiting, so maybe we will you know get more confined result in the further studies. Thank you. Thanks a lot.